Mysterious fibrous clots are showing up inside people who have recently died. Some embalmers say the clots are found in most corpses these days, and they've never seen anything like it before. And a warning that some viewers may find the images in this report disturbing. Several embalmers across the country told the Epic Times they've been observing strange fibrous clots in corpses they work with. They report the phenomenon started either in 2020 or 2021. They say the clots stand out because they're exceptionally big, at a maximum as long as a human leg and as thick as a pinky finger. The embalmers also say that clots in corpses have become much more common. One embalmer said he finds them in 50 to 70 percent of all corpses he works with these days, up from 5 to 10 percent prior to the pandemic. It's not yet known if the new clots are caused by COVID-19, the vaccines, or something different. However, many of the embalmers say from what they've found, it seems like the clots are connected to the vaccine. Some doctors speculate that the spike protein used in the vaccines can cause string-like structures which the body doesn't break down. The clots found are lacking iron, potassium, magnesium, and zinc, which according to experts shows that these aren't just normal post-mortem clots, because normal human blood always has those nutrients. And earlier today, I spoke with one such embalmer, Richard Hirschman from Alabama. He tells us more about discovering these clots and what compelled him to speak out. Richard Hirschman, welcome to our show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Stefania. Glad to be here. Now, tell me, why did you choose to share your findings? Well, I decided to share my findings because I felt like humanity may be at stake. There's definitely something that has changed that I have noticed in the blood since the middle of last year, maybe around May or June of 2021. And it's been eating at me, and therefore I have to come out and speak to say, hey, something's wrong. Most doctors aren't going to see what I see, and I have to get it out there because I...